Sportsman. Ericsson, Garnacho hasn't stopped. Garnacho has scored in stoppage time. And Manchester United have nicked it. For updates in the world of football. Sterling for Liverpool. He's seen Henderson face to face with the Fernandinho. Henderson! Oh, wow! Lift the Anfield roof. Company's error, yes! Formula One. There Imkis down the inside now comes Carlos Sainz on Lewis Hamilton. Sainz just squeezes Hamilton who goes over the rumble strip. Cycling, boxing. Basketball and lots more. Listen to us live on Sport Rush, Mondays to Fridays, 12.30 p.m. to 1 p.m. on Al Iyamoye TV Radio. For more inquiries, please call 0806-242-9799. Sport Rush, your everyday dose of sports. TV and radio, and I am Yezita E. Good morning to our viewers and listeners out there. This is Sports Vi on Ali Yamoe TV and Radio. Do do yourself a favor of liking to the page on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, and even on our social media, which is um, this website www.aliyamoetvradio.com. You can do like us out there. So we give you the best of Sports Vi on Ali Yamoe TV, and I am Ibrahim Unigmide. Okay, let's start with Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard drops Chelsea team news in for Arsenal that could solve biggest problem. Frank Lampard has been speaking about Pierre Emerick Aubameyang and his lack of game time in his debut this season with Chelsea as the striker prepares to take on former club Arsenal. Frank Lampard has lauded Pierre Emerick Aubameyang's quality and has also entered the striker could be handed a rare start for Chelsea against Arsenal this evening. The Blues take on the title chasing Gunners at the Emory Stadium with Pierre Emerick Aubameyang potentially playing at the ground he spent four years at between 2018 and 2022. Frank Lampard reveals Chelsea regrets as transfer solution and need to learn from Arsenal. Frank Lampard has spoken at length about his temporary Chelsea situation. The team's current malice and how Chelsea should approach dealing with their next manager as Chelsea approach their third, 33rd Premier League game of the season against the title contender Arsenal. There is, there is a sense the Blues have entered footballing purgatory. No success can be derived from the season and the club's future is not obvious. Okay, let me move it from, let me take it from, um, from Manchester United team. Um, Rosad Jim Ratcliffe take over bid for Manchester United reportedly includes a demand that he be allowed immediate control of transfer from the moment a potential deal is agreed. That is from uh, from Rosad Jim Ratcliffe. They want to take over uh, at Manchester United uh, against um, Sir um, Sheikh Jassim Al Kilani and uh, 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 Atani. The, uh, the, the two team. Uh, the two uh, they are batting to take over at Manchester United, but uh, the, 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 the Glazers family did not want to take, did not want to leave. They don't want to uh, uh, allow them to take over that. Which the money being given to them, uh, they brought, they, they brought uh, five million, about five billion pounds as as getting over Manchester United, but they did not want to give it to them like that. They want an improvement on the pay, like six billion pounds, which uh, uh, Sheikh Jassim Athani. I answered Jim Ratcliffe did not want to get up to that. So let me just move it to Saudi Arabia. It's closing on the first significant tennis event, which Jeddah imagined as a front runner to hold the end of the season next gen ATP finals in what would be a five year deal. A leading referee group has called for points deduction to be introduced after jogging club's latest outburst of what jogging club did 
uh, the last match where they played against Tottenham, which I'm um, jogging club uh, has to uh, has to move to the front official uh, the, uh, at the sideline. He was celebrating in his in his front, trying to do that, and he even got an injury. He got an injured, and I'm saying injury. Well, uh, jogging club has an injury, so our referee has been calling up to that. We will see through that. We will give you the latest update. Whatever happens about that, if jogging club. Will, will, will be sanctioned or if Jungle Club will be deducted, a point will be deducted from the matches. We'll give you the best out of that on Ali Yamwe TV and radio. Okay, let's move to Arsenal. Arsenal transfer decision ain't as crucial call facing Mikel Ateta. Arsenal transfer news as Charlie Patino's decision to leave the club at the end of the season ain't as for Larry Balogun's future. Arsenal look to lose Milfield Prodigy. Charlie Pertino in the summer after it emerged that the 19 year old could leave the club permanently. The box to box, Mayfeather has spent the season on loan at Blackpool with the championship and has impressed on an individual level. However, his displays have not stopped them being relegated back to League One. Mikel Ateta plans declarized talks as William Saliba to miss Chelsea. Arsenal talent Charlie Patino looks to say to leave the club on permanent deal. And a report is said that Arsenal are looking to take on Declan Rice from West Ham, the Amherst. Arsenal are looking to replace in Declan Rice. And I've said before that they might release Granit Xhaka, the Swiss, the Swiss player, and take in uh, Declan Rice into the team. But some uh, legend has said they should leave Granit Xhaka in the team. Uh, to have well, both first 11 and second 11 uh, in the team. The Ateta doesn't need to release one uh, to bring in one, even though they are to follow the FA uh, rules. Uh, you must always sell. And also, if you, uh, if you want to buy more, you must also sell, uh, which the FA rules has affected the likes of Manchester City, the likes of uh, Barcelona. Oh my god, about Jogger Club. Let me just give you a, a news is coming in now which says referee chiefs are willing to share the audio of Jogging Club's confrontation with referee Paul Tierney during Sunday clash with Tottenham with one insider claiming it will exonerate the official and be a smoking gun for the Liverpool boss. Oh, a big time something is that is going to happen there. Now to Leeds United. Leeds United could turn to Lee Boyer to oversee their squad if the for the rest of the season if they decide to part ways with Javi Garcia. Now to Manchester United. Manchester United could have a secret weapon in their effort to sign Jude Bellingham as their incoming director of football negotiation. Chris Arifs Lee look after the Borussia Dortmund and England Mifida in his previous role at Adidas. Now as now as now. Arsenal, Brighton and Liverpool are among the club, keeping tabs on Ajax youngster Devin Reigns, who, who predominantly plays as a right back. Now to Wolves are weighing up a decision whether to offer Diego Costa a further one-year contract. If that will be happening, then we'll have to know. Manchester United defender Alex Telles, who has spent the season on loan with Sevilla, could be reunited with Cristiano Ronaldo in the summer as report in Spain continue to link him with a move to Al Nassau. Now, Monaco, let me just give you this as the last one on Monaco. And Monaco Mifida, Yosu Fofana, who became a pizza delivery boy after being dropped uh, from France National Academy, age 15, as emerged as a possible summer transfer target for Chelsea Football Club. Okay, now on Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi saddle trip not authorized by these two PSG members. Paris Saint-Germain forward Lionel Messi might not be in good standing with manager Christophe Gautier as sporting advisor Luis Campos. The equip reported on Monday Messi requested permission to travel to Saudi Arabia. However, Gautier and Campos disapproved of the trip, but the Argentine then went over their heads to the club management who agreed and granted permission for the Argentine to go to Riyadh. First Mauricio Pochettino transfer confirmed as Blues giving new and Fati prize. Mauricio Pochettino will face a busy first few months at Chelsea should he finally be confirmed as the new manager with the summer transfer window set to be decisive one for the Blues. 
The striker is desperately needed with no Chelsea star at double figures for goals in campaign. Thankfully for Pochettino, ahead of his expected arrival, that is one problem that could already have a solution. The arrival of Christopher Nkunku from RB Leipzig in West London has been all but announced. The move is expected to still go through despite no official confirmation. However, the Blues may have received that on Sunday after some comments of Leipzig manager Marco Rose. Let me bring it up to you. Remember the ball, Carlo Ancelotti has the nice choice. He has been given a deadline to decide whether he wants to become the next manager of Brazil. Now to Tottenham, look to tempt James Ward Prowse. He away from Tottenham in the summer with their chance. He proved if Saints are to be relegated. Um, the Sam Allardyce is in the frame for a dramatic return to management with Leeds United strongly constantly turning to the former England boss. How to rescue their season and now to Chelsea, which is the lower Chelsea are at risk of losing another member of the academy this summer with striker Malik Mothersill still unable to agree a new contract with the club. Uh, thank you for listening to that on Aliyama TV and radio. Okay, let's go uh, to uh, the matches that uh, the match that went on yesterday in the EPL Leicester City against Everton. When he played 2-2 with Jamie Vardy and Soyuncu scoring the goals for Leicester City and Carrot Larry and Wobi scoring the two goals also for Everton. And the Bundesliga today, uh, sorry, in the La Liga uh, today, Barcelona against Osasuna by 6.30 p.m. Almeria against Elche by 6.30 p.m. And Vizicida against Real Madrid also by 9 o'clock p.m. And the talk of the day uh, is in the EPL, uh, the match between the semi-finished products and the product in which uh, doesn't uh, even gather materials. That's Arsenal against Chelsea tonight by 8 o'clock p.m. Arsenal against Chelsea tonight. Arsenal are the title contender. We are, they are fighting for the title uh, this season with uh, Manchester City and Chelsea are nowhere to be found on the table. I don't even know if they are even in the EPL table this Season, I can't say. So, uh, maybe they are in the twelfth position, I think. Uh, Chelsea. And okay, let's uh, talk on the match. Do Arsenal Chelsea? What do, uh, do you think is going to be uh, the outcome of the match today? Arsenal Chelsea, because it was a match between uh, the boss and uh, the incoming uh, worker that is yet to even be uh, approved as a worker in a company. What do you think is going to be a uh, result of the match? Oh, is the worker? Who is there to be a problem? Uh, the boss is also uh, is always the gunners. Uh, yeah, Arsenal. I want the worker who is here to be approved uh, into the company. It's no other than uh, Chelsea. Which company is that? Ah, uh, I don't but, know. Butlin. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we can't say it. Uh, people are just saying uh, Arsenal have finally bought to delete, but don't, people don't know that football is dynamic. Uh, the way we think football is going to go might not be uh, the way we expect it to go. Let me give you this. Yeah, you said uh, about what you just said now. The football is dynamic. We, everybody knows football is dynamic. But to say the facts about this, looking at what is happening presently, and the team, look at Manchester City, look at Arsenal. Looking at the two teams, look at the last match, Arsenal, uh, Manchester City plays yeah. against Fulham. Anybody that wants to win the league, those are the matches they must win. Yeah. Look at us now playing against uh, Southampton. Look at us now playing against Aston Villa. Look at us now playing against against West Ham. Against West Ham. If they want to win the league, those are the matches they must win. Even if it is a narrow win, a, a, a good win, they just have to win the match. Looking at it, look at Manchester City. They, they played as someone that wants to win the league. So don't just believe um, football is dynamic. We all know football is dynamic. But to this, uh, Arsenal has bought to the league. There's no app. Now, Manchester City is ahead of them. Tonight, Chelsea against Arsenal will decide if Arsenal is going to the top or it will be at the second of the table. Now, to do like to look at it now, look at uh, uh, between Chelsea and Arsenal. Uh, look at the, the matches that have come up between them. Chelsea, uh, Chelsea, when Chelsea was uh, still Chelsea, then Arsenal would be Arsenal always feared Chelsea like at uh, this team, uh, 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 they can do and undo. But as it is now, because of what Chelsea is facing, the, 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 what is happening in the team. So even no team 
it's very Chelsea they're more like this. They were like, okay, we are going to Chelsea. If we are not winning, they will draw the match. So no one is coming there like, okay, we, 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 Chelsea has to beat us. They has to defeat us, no? So tonight's match, as I'm saying it, uh, I will go for I will go for Chelsea, because uh, in this Frank Lampard has taken the interim manager of Chelsea. He hasn't won any matches. He has played five matches without a winning. So to now uh, Frank Lampard and Michael Arteta, the, the both of them, uh, 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 they played together when it was Arsenal. When it was a Chelsea, they played for themselves. So the two managers are facing each other now. They want okay. to see the best out so of the children. You uh, I will go for Chelsea, Chelsea tonight. Yes. The dead plans to grow crops. Of okay. course, yes, I will. Okay. Yes, I will. Uh, 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 tonight, there's no, uh, there's no turning back. Even though I'm not a fan of both clubs, but I'm going for the Gunners tonight. Do you expect uh, Chelsea to come to Emirates, North London, to come and defeat uh, was Arsenal? The, was that the first time it has it's been happening? I know that's not the first time, but. Uh, Ah, I don't believe uh, the years of Didier Drogba. What has what, 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 if you remember back then, the years of Didier Drogba, when he was there, even all the defenders do fear. That is why I said then Chelsea. Then they do fear Chelsea. Like what well, Arsenal will be like ah, Chelsea is coming. What what, what will be what will be the result? So that's why I said it, Chelsea of now. But even as it is now, Chelsea is facing a sort of problem. They still have the belief that. Look at the first leg we played that the Chelsea played together with yeah, Arsenal. Exactly. Arsenal won 1-0. One, one, yeah. one goes to nil. Which it was very difficult for, for Arsenal to win the match as well. well. But Chelsea played, but they were unable to, to, to see some goals because of because of the goal, the because of the uh, points man they did not have. How did Chelsea had a points man? They, they, they could draw or defeat us another yeah, so time. Why then did you sell uh, why then did Chelsea sell out uh, loan out uh, Romelu Lukaku. Romelu Lukaku was not giving Chelsea what they wanted there. And so they had to loan it. And when it was loaned out, it was not uh, the manager, well, the owner which was there now, which is Todd It was the era of Abramovich. That was, that uh, Lukaku was loaned out. So it wasn't, uh, it wasn't um, Todd Bowley's fault. Now to next season, and let's look at it. What, what will happen in the Chelsea team now? So then we can all say, okay, this team, but present as it is, the team are facing a lot of things. Uh, all Chelsea fans always have uh, things to say. Chelsea fans this have about Chelsea fans. I know you are not supporting Chelsea. I know Chelsea fans out there have been saying, uh, let's wait till next season. Let's wait till Of course, yeah, that is the only thing. Okay. Oh, we are all waiting. Because looking at the manager that has, looking at the manager coming now, or looking at the manager coming now, yeah, if he's, give, he's been given the chance, which is uh, Mauricio Pochettino, if he's been given the job, we know everybody knows my Paris Richard. You know, he loves dealing with uh, young players. He loves taking young players. Look at when he was a man on Tottenham. Look at how we play, how we uh, he managed the team. Look at how we did with the team. So, looking at the Chelsea team now, the, the likes of uh, Mikhail Modric, Enzo Fernandez, the likes of the Dutch the, of the final who comes in. Look at he, he's given now. He said he wants, he, 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 he wants me, them to give them. Give him a good player. He wants Harry Kane. He wants sort of little players to join the team as well, so they could be able to bring up the team back to where it is before. So if Chelsea is given Mauricio Pochettino, if Todd Bowley and Egbo Gradali as we had given Mauricio Pochettino the chance to be the manager of Chelsea, I know Chelsea would Chelsea would be difficult to defeat uh, uh, next, next season. Yes. I, I know uh, even your midfielder, uh, Jorginho, played in Chelsea against Arsenal in the first leg and now he's going to play uh, against Chelsea. When he was even interviewed, he said uh, there is no turning back that Arsenal is defeating uh, That is Chelsea. what you said because yeah. Arsenal, is giving, Arsenal is the one paying his, his, his salary. So what do you ask him to pay? What do you want him to say? Okay, since we both went against each other on this note, Arsenal is winning for me tonight. And you are saying ah, Chelsea is winning, which I don't go uh, by that. Okay, now you are saying Chelsea is winning. What will Chelsea do to, to be able to beat Arsenal? With the way you have been playing uh, back, uh, with the way you have been playing against Bradford, uh, against uh, uh, Brighton, and you have been losing Frank Lamar hasn't even won. Uh, I'm sure if I'm the coach of Chelsea, I would have won a single match. I'm very sure. That is said if you have. If but maybe you are not. Let me know when you have. Okay. And see if it will be like that or it won't. Now, looking at the team now, uh, if, uh, if uh, Frank Lampard can just come with a good formation against Arsenal, like, like looking at the, the players presently at the Chelsea now, 
Looking at the defense, it should start on by the shield. Thiago Silva. If he can start up with that, by the shield and Thiago Silva. On the left, or on the I, I, I maybe four, 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 let me say four three three. Or let me say that. So on the right side, he should bring on um, either loves to shake or he should start up with Chaluba. From the left side, Ben Chiwo. Not from the midfield, Enzo Fernandez, Matthew Kovacic and Kante. On the midfield there. So from the up front, he should just bring in, if he's not starting Abramian, he should bring in that to Fofana as a top striker, if he can do that. From the flanks, he should give uh, uh, Mikhailo Modric and he should bring in uh, either Jao Felix or um, Akim Ziyech. If Chelsea can just start up with this formation, I believe Chelsea, uh, uh, Chelsea will bring some uh, good results out of that, to my own belief. To your own belief? Yeah, that's why I said to my own formation that I believe if Chelsea can just use that, I know the team will play why, well. Uh, I believe even if Chelsea, even if it's possible for Chelsea to borrow players from uh, everywhere, they should borrow Messi, they should borrow Ronaldo, Neymar, the likes of Salah, I don't think they can. Chelsea. We'll be able to defeat let's uh, see how it goes tonight because we don't have much time to tonight, spend on there. let's see how it goes spent. okay come to the end of sports by today on ali yamui tv and radio don't forget to like follow comment and share all our programs on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and always click on the notification bell for more interesting programs like these and i still remain thank you for listening thank you for uh, joining us on ali yamui tv and radio do like a page do yourself a favor of that we still have a lot of programs out there giving up to you so do enjoy our programs we have uh, after this we have fresh light uh, we, we give you the newspaper review on what is happening in the nigeria presently as it is yesterday was a workers day what do you have to know about that we'll give you the best out of it on ali Yamoy tv and really nice to remain ibrahim or nick we says a good bye, bye.